Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I have a pretty cool newer floor plan for you. This is the 2023 Salem 29BDBX. It's got two double bunks, a bath and a half, and the Versa Lounge. There's a lot to love about this. And you got yourself an outdoor kitchen. Today I'm gonna dedicate this video to my friend Benny. With the help of his family down in San Antonio, he let me know that I am his favorite YouTuber and his birthday is coming up here in about a week or two. So I just wanna take some time to say, Benny, I appreciate you, brother. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. He also let me know that my videos need more bug facts. So I've got a couple good ones for you, but let's go ahead and jump right in. The specifications for this camper Length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes will be down in the description, along with my contact information. And as always, if you guys like RV videos, like my style, value what I'm doing, hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, yeah, help me hit my goal of 30,000. But again, it's the 2023 Salem 29DB, or 29BDBX. That's the platinum edition, so it's gonna have the fiberglass exterior. A couple other things I'll show you on the exterior. But uh, if you guys didn't know, on a day where a bee is getting food, it can travel up to 60 miles. So I thought that was pretty neat. Now, as far as the camper is concerned, right when you walk in, you're gonna see you have an absolutely massive slide with the Salem patented, uh, Salem Wildwood patented Versa Lounge. We'll go into that here a little bit. Right back here, you're gonna have your little half bath with a little bunk or desk area, you got your bunks right there and right there. And then of course, you know, you have your kitchen set up, a little hidden pantry, and then your bedroom. But as far as the Versa Lounge's control, control, oh gosh almighty, I'm having a hard time talking. As far as the Versa Lounge is concerned, really cool setup for this. You can set it up in a couple different configurations because this centerpiece right here is shiftable. You can move it over here and make the dinette a little bit smaller. You can keep it where it is now, make the dinette a little bit larger, or you can completely remove it so that way you can make this one massive sleeping space. So this right here does pull down on a jackknife so you can sleep, you know, one to two kids here. And then this, you drop down the legs for the table and drop down so that way you can, you know, sleep an additional folk over here. So you can partition it off or you can make it one giant area. I also really enjoy on the Salem line in general, you have these big open windows, hopefully for a nice view. And for something that is on the less expensive side, you still get the nightshade. It's not some of the chintzy, you know, kind of like little cloth shades. You still get that nightshade, the Dracula shade. You're also gonna see you get accent lighting there up above. As far as head height is concerned, I'm gonna be six feet tall and you're looking probably around, you know, five, six, which is nice. I would consider this area right here kind of the primary sitting zone and it's going to be directly across from where you're going to put the TV. So they have a TV backer right on this wall. It looks like you can fit probably about a 40 inch and you see you also got this little area so that way you can put some cords through because they went ahead and added in a little hidden pantry and I just think that's so awesome. You know for a long trip storage is often going to be you know, kind of a difficult thing to come by. And this makes it really nice and easy. You know, whether you're storing food or blankets, you see this got a little automatic light that just kicked on. But you also get a couple outlets, so they're nice and hidden away. You're also going to get the King Wi-Fi uh, prep. So all you got to do is get the antenna and call up, you know, like AT&T or, you know, whatever. And, uh, you know, you're good to go. It's a little, uh, little Wi-Fi booster. Let me put that travel lack back on there. You also have the Furion sound bar with zones one and two with the HDMI port and the USB. You also get the mirrored reflective finish on the fireplace, which is new for 2023. I think that's really neat. You can see it just looks just like a mirror. But when you turn on the fireplace, it glows either red, orange, white, or blue. It also puts out 5,100 BTUs of heat. So in an RV, the size it'll really heat the entirety of this room including that bunk you know absolutely no problem so it really helps you save and cut down some of the cost of your propane another thing that's going to save you money on propane and also be a little bit less of a headache at the campground if it's going to be you know really hot out is you have this furion 12 volt refrigerator 
And if you're not familiar with the 12-volt refrigerator by now, it's essentially a residential-style refrigerator uh, with a little bit of a twist. It can run off the solar, it can run off your battery, you know, your truck when you're driving down the road, but it's going to be much more efficient than the classic gas and electric uh, that are quickly becoming a thing of the past. You know, when you use that gas and electric and the sun's beating down on this side, you know, it would actually heat up the refrigerator. So that's always a big time bummer. This will actually keep things frozen, frozen no matter, you know, how uh, hot it is outside. Plus you got that kind of black glass, you know, looking, uh, you know, kind of decor going with it. I think it just looks really sharp. They also match up the brands for the oven and the microwave. So if you're a little OCD, you know, that'll probably please you right there. I think that's pretty nice. Three stove top burner. You also got a little oven to cook up some, uh, some pizza. And if you didn't know, it takes 2,000 silkworm cocoons to produce one pound of silk. You got a window right here that does open up so that way you can access a nice breeze. Pretty good countertop space here with the little elbow configuration. You're also going to see you got a little drying rack, a high-rise faucet, hitting those dishes from all angles, and then you have a split sink right there for kind of like dual wash zones, which is nice. You also get a little bit of storage here up underneath in the form of these pull-out drawers. So you're going to get quite a few of those. Uh, there's actually going to be three of them. And then underneath here, you get some access to your plumbing, and you also get some pretty clean-cut storage. Up above, you got kind of like a good-looking little decor, kind of black glass, and it's a little bit textured. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. Can't complain about that. That's pretty nice. And that goes all the way back up against the wall as well. So before we head back to the master, let me go ahead and show you the bunks. And I really enjoy the fact that these are going to be the oversized bunks and even the door over here is going to be pocket. You notice how it's a little bit rounded. I'm not sure exactly why they did that, but I'm glad they do. It does make for kind of more of an open feel to it. it makes it feel like a little bit less clustered and maybe a little bit less claustrophobic, you know, for your guests here. So the double wide bunks with the corner cut out with the teddy bear mattress, really nice and comfortable. Two USBs, an emergency exit, so pull, push, and pop. You can get out in a hurry with a curtain. And then down here, you're going to see more USBs, and then obviously the same kind of bunk up above. And then you got plenty of storage space underneath for maybe some of your little, you know, longer-term items. Now right here is going to be a mini desk setup, so you can get a little bit of work done, or, you know, you do have kind of those little storages right there. I personally would probably rather see that middle section gone, but, uh, you know, maybe next year we'll bring that. This is kind of a work in progress, but I think this could work for a lot of folks. You do get two USB ports and two outlets and another window. Again, it does open up. Keep that air flowing. And then you got some pretty good, you know, deep storage right here, too. And then you got a half bath, and it follows the theme there of that rounded wall. Again, I think it's looking really sharp, and the door's not exposed, so it's going to give that pocket door. You got enough room where you can sit down and take care of business. A little bit of storage here up underneath. Really good countertop space, you know, for kind of a half bath, guest room, kids room. And then I think that kind of that brick look is right there is looking pretty sharp as well. The old bowling gun, baby. Oh, where's that safety latch there? Excuse me, let's go ahead and take a little intermission. <laughs> Boom, right there, and we're back. You also get a little fan. There's that, now let's head up into the main bath in the master, and if you guys didn't know, there are some species of ants that can actually lift up to 50 times their weight. So I thought that was pretty cool. Dometic control for your heat and AC, and then you also get Another window right there, and even this one's got that little thinner, you know, blackout shade. This is going to be the main bath. You get another little fan up there. Pretty good sized shower. And then you get another toilet right there, and it's just enough room to where you can squeak by and get your business done. 
And as far as the size of the shower, you know, I'm six feet, uh, 290, 95 pounds on a bad day. I'm kind of a round belly, but you can see I fit in here just fine. Then you close this door right here and you got more storage there up underneath. And then you have the sink, another outlet, another, you know, area for kind of that medicine cabinet. All right, if you've made it this far, if you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, that'd be great. You're going to have the custom king size bed, which is going to be a 66 by 78 with the rounded corners. So that way you can get in and around just a little bit easier. You also get a couple storage totes there underneath. Uh, and also this is a good opportunity to show you the floor. I just think that looks really sharp. New for 2023 there as well. I'm excited to see what 24 brings. You know, those are coming out here, you know, in about three to four months. Windows on both sides. This one's going to be an emergency exit, so pull, push, and pop. Get on out in a hurry if you need to. You're also going to get countertop space on either side with a cubby behind your hanging closet, so that way you can use it for a CPAP machine. Two USBs, two USBs. Room for some hanging items. And this is what I was talking about with that little cubby there. And then you got another place where you can hang up a TV right here with the appropriate plugins. Closet on this is pretty darn incredible. Nice little hanging room. But all right, I hope you guys enjoyed the inside portion of this tour. Again, this is the 2023 Salem 29BDBX. Now your guess is as good as mine is what that stands for. I think if it was DBD, it'd make a little bit more sense. Double bunk, I don't know. Anyway, they don't pay me the big bucks for those decisions. Okay, so the X on that, that's going to indicate that it has the platinum package. So on the platinum package, you're going to notice you get the fiberglass exterior. Typically, it comes in the aluminum. So you got the wavy with the aluminum. You got the kind of the, you know, the flatter, cleaner appearance on the fiberglass. You're also going to get the upgraded steel wheels as opposed to aluminum. A little bit heavier, a little bit sturdier. And then also here up front, you're going to get that rock guard. You know, just kind of help out with some of the, uh, the chipping when you're driving down the road. Power tongue jack here up front. You also get two propane bottles and a little rack right there that can fit up to two batteries and you also see with that red tag right there that is going to be your battery disconnect you're going to get pretty darn incredible pass through storage space for a travel trailer it's even got the linoleum they're running throughout and i thought this was pretty neat uh benny if you're watching which i'm assuming you are you could write your bug facts right here buddy dry erase surface so again, all the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes will be down in the description of this video. I'm gonna guess that's somewhere like around 20 feet for the awning, pretty incredible awning on that with the LEDs, that LED lights that run underneath. You do have the manual stabilizing jacks here, but that's okay. You can get yourself a 5 8 bit and zip them down. They're actually gonna be a little bit sturdier than the electric ones. You know, they got a little bit more lifting power to it. Those other ones will stop when they hit about 10 pounds of pressure. LP Quick Connect right here for your outside griddle. Whip you up some eggs and bacon, have a really good time. And then you have your outside refrigerator, you know, which is good for probably about a 24 pack of apple juice. Exterior speakers, which you control from the inside on that Furion soundbar system I was showing you. And then you have a little spray port for some outside access to some water. A plug in for cable and your outlets to plug in a TV. And then your fresh water is going to be right there as well. Step above, flip entry steps. So those will go inside there, but they're a little bit sturdier than the uh, kind of classic, you know, just aluminum ones that kind of bounce there. Heading up the back, you do get a bumper with a spare tire. And you're also gonna see that it is prepped up for a rear observation camera. So $550, you suction cup that thing right onto your windshield. 
and you can see what's going on behind you while you're driving with distance markers. So it's a really nice kind of argument stopper when you're at the campground and you can see what's behind you and how far. It also has a built-in microphone so you can communicate and not scream back and forth at each other. It is prepped up also for the rear ladder. It's the Lippert on the go. It's a telescoping ladder, runs you around 300, get it right off Lippert's website and you are good to go. Here's gonna be your city water connection and your black tank flush. That's basically gonna be a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. You also have, <coughs> excuse me, cable and satellite hookups. And this is gonna be a 50 amp connection. So if you would like, you can add on a second AC. Sewer dump is gonna be right there. And then you'll also see these black little inserts, the Solera. So this comes prepped for a slide topper. If you're not familiar with a slide topper, it's a piece of awning that goes from here to here to prevent debris from falling on top of your camper. You know, if you're ever gonna get a leak, it's gonna come from that. And you have that bonehead moment where there's a tree branch, it just falls on there, you got no idea about it. it becomes a big old bummer, you know, when it pops that seal. Sewer outlet connection and your waste holding tank's gonna be right here. And then, uh, you know, this is the other side of the pass through storage. Dry weight, 7,889 pounds, which is, always, uh, which is always nice. Most of your F-150s will be able to handle that just fine. But all right, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Benny, I hope you have a wonderful birthday, and I appreciate you, brother. Hope you have a great life. I know you will. Send me over some more bug facts. This is the 2023 Salem 29BDBX. My name is Hunter. See ya. Man, 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 man